Most of us weren't taught about investing as a child. At best, we were taught about saving. My question is, how can you save with no income? Most parents don't think about their child's future until they are two or three years away from college. Imagine if your parents had saved and invested for 18 years versus two or three. Imagine if your parents had taught you how to invest from the time you were born. For the first time ever, there's a book that offers a gentle approach to the stock market, investing, and showing kids and parents how to attain their financial goals. Geared towards children, but great for parents. Wesley Learns to Invest follows Wesley and his dad as they walk through a financial journey from discovering what the stock market is to choosing the right stocks, making a purchase, and receiving a dividend check. Available hard copy, soft copy, and electronic at lulu.com July 2015. Also available on Amazon and Barnes & Noble August 2015. For more helpful tips and tutorials, log on to youtube.com slash Royal Financial Investment Group. Now that we got the ads out of the way, this is the Royal Financial Investment Group. As always, this is your host, Prince Dice, coming to, a, coming to you guys with another great video. Today's video topic is going to be, what is market capital, capitalization? What is market capitalization? But before we jump into the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Uh, if you got any questions, leave some comments below. Uh, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. If it's a good video, let me know if it's good or if I suck or whatever. And, you know, so I can do whatever I can take, you know, whatever I need to do to get better, right? So let's get straight into the topic because I know you don't have a lot of time and I definitely don't have a lot of time. So uh, let's get straight into it. What is market capitalization? So for, for example here on E-Trade, I have Verizon Communications pulled up. And you can see Verizon Communication has a market cap right here of 1.9, uh, $193 billion, $193 billion, right? Wow, that's a lot of money. But anyway, so what does that mean, right? So let's get into what is market capitalization. Market capitalization is you take the shares outstanding right here, you just have outstanding shares, $4.1 billion, how many shares they have outstanding, and you multiply it times the current price which is 47.33 you multiply those together you're going to get 193 billion now you say okay wow that's cool so why is that important that's a good cool little math thing but why is that important the reason why this is important because it is said that companies that have a, a large market cap a company that has a large market cap is said to be of low risk right my large market cap is low risk low return that's usually the characteristics of a company that has a large market cap. A company that has a small market cap, usually it's considered to have, it's usually considered to be a high risk, high return. Okay, that's great, Prince. So why do I need to know that? So when you're investing, you can say, hey, I'm a low risk guy, but you have a bunch of small cap stocks. Don't make sense, right? But you say, hey, I'm a low risk person. I just want to put some money back. I kind of want to um, put it into some uh, companies that are not going to move around too much. Collect me a little dividend. Like you can look at Verizon. It's paying you a 4.65 dividend. It has a large cap, pretty much like a mega cap. And so it's, this, this would be perceived as being a low risk investment, but also it's not going to run off the charts and, you know, do anything crazy. Characteristics wise, nothing is guaranteed. Now that you know that, now that you know this great thing, how can you actually apply it? So let's go up here. We're going to look at, we're going to go to the word research. Uh, there we go, research, right? Then we're going to go to products. Then we're going to go to, let's go to stocks. Then we're going to go to stock screener. You see that word right there, stock screener? And boom, what is this first thing we said? Market capitalization. So you got your mega caps over here, your large cap, mid cap, small cap, micro caps. Now, a large cap is considered to be any stock that's over 10 billion. Anything over 10 billion uh, has a market capitalization over 10 billion. That's considered to be a large cap. Um, a, a mid cap is considered to be anything that's between uh, two, 2 billion, I think it's 2 billion and 10 billion. 2 billion and 10 billion, that's considered to be a mid cap. And a small cap is like anything, like 300,000 to 2 billion. So again, anything over 10 billion is considered large. 2 billion to 10 billion is considered mid. Anything up under 2 billion all the way down to 300,000 is considered small cap. And mega cap, I'm not sure exactly over that one, but I'm pretty sure it's probably like 15 billion or higher. But anyway, if you wanted to say, hey, I want to find some small cap or micro cap, I think that's under 300,000 to, I forgot where it stops at. So you say, hey, I want to find some small cap stocks. Boom, right? You got an instant uh, result of 4,199. 
you hit the view button bam you got a bunch of uh, micro stocks there uh, micro capitalization stocks let's click on the first one that we see and it has 496 million right as a small cap uh, so you boom there you go you can look at it you know that's way one of the characteristics of something that you just lose use to put in your little tool belt as you do your research as you're trying to move your money around to what's going to be high risk low risk all the other good stuff for helps you with something called asset allocation so again i hope you guys like that quick little video don't forget to like subscribe comment share comment and you guys know what to do until the next video bam Peace. <laughs>